Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your weather video for this Sunday morning, May the 17th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and we've got our first tropical storm of the year. It's not going to affect us here in Alabama, but interesting to watch. Here's the uh, infrared satellite overlaid across the southeastern United States at 6 a.m. on this Sunday morning, uh, showing clouds over the western half of Alabama. You'll see those are associated with showers uh, moving into the state at this hour. And to the east, we see Tropical Storm Arthur. Not very organized, but certainly more organized than it was 24 hours ago. Top winds 50 miles an hour. We'll look at it a little more closely in a moment. Examining that radar a little more closely. Showers do cover much of the western third of Alabama at this hour, extending from the Shoals area down through Tuscaloosa into the southwestern part of the state. That band is advancing eastward, and it will pass through the Birmingham metro area within the next couple of hours. And it looks like uh, it actually is increasing in coverage and intensity, uh, so it will be with us for this morning. Uh, probably a bit of a lull. You see thunderstorm development there south of Jackson again, or at least shower development, probably some thunderstorms later. I think we will deal with another round of thunderstorms later today, uh, scattered in nature. Uh, not everyone probably getting wet this afternoon, but a, a few heavy downpours out there across the area. Uh, afternoon today. This is the uh, the latest vitals on Tropical Storm Arthur. Uh, they're located uh, about 120 miles east of Jacksonville, Florida this, this morning. Uh, top winds 45, well, let's see, top winds now 40 miles an hour, expected to potentially increase to about 50 miles an hour before it approaches the North Carolina Outer Banks, according to the Official forecast shown here from the National Hurricane Center. It would pass within 50 miles east of Cape Hatteras uh, early tomorrow morning, uh, somewhere around 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. They would start to see uh, winds 25 to 35 miles an hour. Well, they'll see those earlier, but peak winds about 45 miles an hour. Storm surge about 2 feet on the outer banks. So not really a severe storm by any measure, but uh, one that they'll, of course, be keeping an eye on. The storm curves uh, then to the east and then actually kind of just peters out to the north of Bermuda there. Um, it's kind of away from the Gulf Stream right now. It'll get back over the Gulf Stream there east of the Outer Banks. Could become a 60-mile-per-hour tropical storm, according to the National Hurricane Center. A little bit of uncertainty in the forecast track. European a little bit to the right, GFS a little bit to the left, and uh, Hurricane Center kind of playing it down the uh, middle of the fairway. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, if everything works out, Robbie Berg from the National Hurricane Center will be joining us on Weather Brains. You'll have to uh, listen for that. It's going to be a really fun show, not so much talking about Arthur, although that subject will come up, but talking about all the variety of products, graphics, probabilities, and things that the Hurricane Center uses to communicate risk to the public. will be an interesting show for sure. Uh, upper pattern across the United States shows a uh, big trough in the west. You can see it crashing on shore there in the Pacific Northwest. Ridge there through the Rockies, a uh, trough through the Central Plains, another ridge over the eastern United States. You can see two distinct cutoff lows there, one uh, in uh, southern Minnesota, Iowa, the eastern uh, part of uh, South Dakota, Nebraska, another here uh, in the Arklatex area. Uh, those are two we have to worry about. And then, of course, you see uh, low pressure uh, in the mid-levels of the atmosphere associated with Tropical Storm Arthur. Now, at the surface, uh, you see surface reflections of those same three low pressure systems there. Uh, this one near Texarkana this morning will be the one that we'll be watching as it moves to near Chicago by tomorrow. Um, it will bring a cold front our way. Uh, 7 o'clock tonight, showers and thunderstorms in progress this afternoon across Alabama. That seems reasonable. We'll go with the European on this forecast. Here comes uh, Tropical Storm Arthur edging closer to the coast. Uh, getting uh, not markedly stronger, according to the European. I would think it will continue to get a little more intense uh, as it goes through the day today, maybe slowly intensifying, uh, or at least holding its own. Uh, then I think during the pre-dawn hours, I, I think the showers don't go away. We've still got that trough approaching us from the west, and uh, we stay mostly cloudy overnight, uh, mild, humid, warm uh, but a few showers still staying in the forecast. And then as we move toward Monday, 
um, that front will be entering the northwestern part of Alabama. And as it does, we'll see uh, more showers and thunderstorms developing, especially afternoon. And as it has been the case with uh, several systems over the past month or so, uh, the development seems to happen right along I-65 or to the east. That seems to be the case again for tomorrow. So more showers and thunderstorms develop during the day tomorrow, and we'll be watching those. Uh, nothing strong or severe, but of course, you know, we've got decent instability. It's that time of year. Not much wind shear, so not much organization, but any storms that do form uh, could be kind of strong. Front moves through tomorrow night, dew points drop. Uh, you know, when we wake up Tuesday morning, it'll be kind of pleasant. Temperatures are in the middle and upper 50s, dew points also in the middle and upper 50s. And um, we're going to be uh, quite liking the weather on Tuesday um, uh, for the most part. Uh, I think you'll have to watch this up. This is the surface reflection there in the heights shows that upper low is just centered to our north, um, indicating that, you know, this low is in our neighborhood. And that's going to wrap around some cloudiness and maybe a little bit of light shower activity. So it won't be a beautiful day, but temperatures in the middle 70s will take it. Given the hot weather that we've had, you'll notice a gusty westerly wind at times. And uh, high temperatures around 72 to 75 degrees. Wednesday, more of the same. That low drops down to around Nashville. Uh, more of the same. A few showers, uh, light showers, time to time. A few clouds. Uh, you know what we always say, upper level low, weatherman's woe. This one's not going to really be a lot of woe. But um, we'll take the clouds and the cool temperatures. As we're getting ready to embark on a long, hot journey through summer. This is Thursday. Uh, that thing's beginning to break down, but, um, you know, leaves a little bit of a weakness there through the Ohio and Tennessee valleys. Alabama probably begins to dry out, though. We start to heat up, too. Most folks will be back in the 80s by Thursday. And then by Friday, I think we're back in the soup. Uh, those dew points are climbing back toward the middle 60s. It'll feel uh, quite humid. Uh, afternoon highs in the middle to upper 70s and only isolated uh, afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Going into a holiday weekend, this is Saturday, looks dry across Alabama. Going to be hot, looks like it'll be 90 again, probably 90 again on Sunday. Um, mostly dry again, maybe an isolated shower or storm. Then for Memorial Day, looks beautiful. You know, we thought we might see some rain uh, and, and maybe some thunderstorms for Memorial Day, but that looks like that may be uh, out of the forecast now. Uh, as Monday the 25th looks like it will be dry, hot, and humid, just what you would expect for Memorial Day in Alabama. This is off the National Blend of Models, a good way to look at the temperatures. You can see, uh, calling for 86 today, uh, uh, 80 tomorrow, with those thunderstorms developing in the area, then a couple of days of 70s, then we slowly climb back up toward 90, and we will see a lot of those 90s through the coming days you know if you haven't had a chance yet go back and watch weather brains listen to weather brains uh from this week we had the uh, filmmaker uh michael rossi talking about the great uh dr theodore fajita and the american experience film that will be premiering this tuesday night on public television he uh, we uh, brought along uh, dr greg forbes and uh, author jim H jen henderson and uh, it was a great show hope you'll listen to that uh, at some point and there's also a, a special guest there with a, a children's book that you'll like. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, we have a great show this week with Robbie Berg from the National Hurricane Center. So don't uh, forget to check out Weatherbrains, weatherbrains.com. Uh, get it any place that you consume your podcast. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, the 17th. I'm uh, looking forward to being back next Sunday. Till then, I'll have notes on the blog. James will be uh, along tomorrow and all through the week. Uh, with his two days, and then Scott will be back next Saturday. And until I'm back here in this seat with you again, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.